Abercrombie and Fitch First Instinct. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Josh here. I just want to do a review today on this Abercrombie and Fitch First Instinct. Now, before I get into my review of this cologne, I would like to say a little bit of a backstory on it. For me, at least a personal backstory. So, I get fierce. It's in my first video like when I got my Fierce and I really wanted something from Abercrombie and Fitch or something else to really rival Fierce and to really um, present something of the same quality but something different, something unique and something around just as good. So when I did the research, everybody said First Instinct was the closest thing or like the one that everyone wanted to try or the one that you know everybody thought was good so as soon as I see that I go online I see nothing about First Instinct I see stuff people selling it but it looks really fake and all that so I'm like hmm well I guess maybe it's old or it's not coming out or it's fake so fast forward I get uh, Fierce Confidence Fierce Blue and so I think that, oh, and Fierce Intense. So I get all three of those on a sale, which was 30% off everything on Abercrombie, so I could have got any cologne that I wanted. Literally after I order <coughs> Fierce Blue, Fierce Confidence, and Fierce Intense, literally the day after the sale's over, here you go, they put this up there. So I was just like, oh, what a troll. Because like, you know what I mean? Like I really liked Fierce Confidence, Fierce Blue, and Fierce Intense. But what I really wanted was this right here. And uh, yeah, finally got it. Um, there's actually some mixed reviews about this uh, right now. Like when I, um, I did see this on Jeremy Fragrance's channel um, in a top 10 list or not a top 10 list, uh, a comparison video for, um, he had like a, a girl uh, smell like a bunch of new colognes from this year and this cologne got second to last and uh, like, uh, or second best I should say, out of all the colognes that come out this year, she said it was second best. Then, we, I got somebody I also really respect, the Sitch on Fitch. He said that uh, it was just sweet and nothing really, you know, not very good basically. You know, just kind of like the other ones, like they're okay, but nothing like Abercrombie worthy and all that. So I was, you know, a little bit disappointed, but I definitely, definitely wanted to check it out. And I am so, so, so glad that I did. This is definitely the second best my, in my opinion, cologne to Fierce that I own right now for Abercrombie & Fitch. I'm just going to say it right now for a few reasons. Number one, I love how what they did with the bottle. Same size. They actually put a different cap this time versus the original. The, the um, bottle itself is very different. It is uh, kind of like rippled like a body. And it's also got this real nice silver lining down the side. Most of the Abercrombies are just like this, which is nice, but it's nice to like have a totally unique um, design and something bold and good in its own way. And as far as it smells, in my opinion, it smells very, very tropical. Oh yeah, like they say, it's inspired by like um, woods, and um, a few other things like gin and juice and all that, but I really get kind of like a, like a exotic melon. Definitely a very exotic smelling um, cologne. When I let my friend try it or and smell it, he, I mentioned that I didn't know what to compare it to and he said the same thing. I mean, I guess if I had to choose Mont Blanc's individual, the um, would be probably the closest from what I have right now. But I, um, it's still not really like this. Like this is very unique. Like almost like, yeah, it smells like kind of like exotic lemon or ex not exotic lemon, exotic like um, watermelon. Like I think they had like a Kawanu lemon or Kawanu melon when I looked online, but definitely doesn't smell a lot like gin and juice and definitely doesn't smell woodsy or musky. It definitely is sweeter, like definitely sweeter than fierce. So if you like Fierce, if you like Abercrombie and Fitch, 
and you don't like anything sweet you like I like a good punch of musk every time this one probably is not for you if you could get down with a sweet fresh scent this is amazing definitely like eye-catching of the whole thing the first instinct you know what I mean like it's just straight up eye-catching like from the smell from the bottle from everything compared to everything else for Abercrombie & Fitch just so so nice I absolutely love this the only way, reason that I could see people not liking this is because if you don't like sweet and you have to have a woodsy or musky feel to it but I really like this anyway like I just I feel like even if you don't like sweet fragrances you'll like I feel like you at least gotta respect this cologne this is like definitely like one of the best as far as my ratings go, I rate these three a nine. I'll, I would rate Fierce Intense a nine and a half, just because it's like, like Abercrombie's typically, what you're gonna get is an above average scent and not the best performance, but good performance. So that's usually what you expect. All three of these are good. Maybe if their performance was better, they'd be a nine and a half, but that's the reason that a Fierce Intense goes to nine and a half in my opinion. But these three I'd rate as a nine. And I also wanna say, First Instinct, I liked from the second that I smelled it. I absolutely just, I, I liked it. I like it just as much as I do now, it's amazing. This one had to grow on me, Batch 46. It definitely did have to grow on me, but in the end, it barely sits as uh, one of the, it's in the top four, and uh, as it becomes a nine, just like the original Fierce and just like First Instinct. But anyways, guys, let me know what, if you guys have tried this one out down below. I heard they're in some stores, like flagship stores, which aren't that there aren't that many of them, but I feel like a good amount of people have tried this and. Um, this is really, really good. I cannot, I mean, I, I really, really like this. And I don't say that about um, very many other Abercrombies and definitely of, in the, it, of the ones I own, it's in the top four. And it, it lasts very long too. If I spray two sprays of this in the middle of one of my shirts, that shirt is gonna smell like exactly like this in two days. That's happened twice already with this. I can, it just purely smells and it's so unique some for some reason I'm I have a sucker for something exotic and something unique and that's exactly what this is I, it is a little bit exotic and a little bit unique and definitely tropical sweet goodness is what I'd say for this one not so much musky like I said if you're a, if you're a guy who's just like man I don't do sweet stuff it's not me probably not but this stuff's absolutely great it's just like it's got like it's a typical fresh cologne with a nice oomph and i just honestly can't say enough good stuff about it i mean for the abercrombie's new price uh, match thing uh, they usually sell like 54 dollars for like a, one of these and then the other kinds they'll sell for 48 so i've been noticing a quality drop in abercrombie and this in my opinion is so good it's almost worth more than 54 because in my opinion it is so so good and I honestly perf would prefer Abercrombie to put 10 more dollars into the packaging and bottle 10 more dollars into the cologne strength and sell it for like 74 and sell these in one ounce things I would prefer them to be stronger but this one is uh, stronger than usual there are Abercrombies that I have that are definitely weaker and this is one of the strongest like I said it stays on a shirt for two days two sprays it's great I mean a great attention getter in my opinion definitely something that's like wow like what is that kind of a smell I don't know that's just what I prefer and also it's a EDT and normally um, they are EDC for cologne and it goes EDC is the weakest, EDT is the middle, and then EDP is the very strongest. So this is in yeah, the but Anyways guys, sorry that video cut off, but can't say enough good things about this cologne. Just wanted to kind of do a little send off. I did talk about everything before, but can't say enough good stuff about it. Highly recommended. Definitely pick it up if you're into anything sweet, anything tropical, that sounds good. Definitely, definitely pick it up. But anyways, guys, it's been Josh TV. I'll see you all on the next video.
at Josh TV. 